This just in. The YouTube channel I Hate Everything is nothing but a hater and is super jealous of whatever you like. Look, Kite Man, how long does it take to clean Aquaman's mangled corpse from a stock photograph of a movie theater? Well, it might be easier to clean if it wasn't completely dried on there. How long's it been up here for, exactly? Only about... two weeks? Right. Oh, hi there. Um, yeah. So, the news. I read the news to stay current. Is something I hear too many a person say in defense as to why they watch the news. I've personally been criticized in the past for not keeping up to date. So, I did eventually give in and start to read and watch the news more regularly. And in doing so, I came to this conclusion. The news is f***ing stupid and ultimately completely unnecessary. Now, before you get mad, let me explain. Of course, it's important when something earth-shattering like 9-11 is happening because there's a potential that you're going to be directly impacted by it, and the results from the event are going to change the rules and regulations for the entire planet for the immediate future. I'm talking more about the celebrity stories like what Simon Cowell is going to call his f***ing baby. When I say I hate the news, what I primarily mean is the 6 o'clock show, or whatever time it's on, where you have the eternal old-looking man paired with a woman presenter who gets replaced when the corporate executives decide that she's not attractive enough for television anymore. Whereas the male presenters seem to stay around for perpetually infinite amounts of time, like they're Dorian Gray or something. And of course, you have newspapers. They both feel dated to me now, primarily because of the instant nature of the internet, where we can pick and choose what we want to read about at any time that's convenient to us. And has anyone else noticed the ludicrous way these news shows present their top stories? On tonight's show, a couple were brutally murdered and their severed limbs were fed to genetically altered super pigs. And these little ducklings might have bitten off more than they could chew in the annual ducky cake eating contest. It comes across to me like it's some sort of joke. It seems like the only intention for any of these news outlets to even exist is so you have something to spark a conversation with your friends. Such as, Mate, did you hear about that guy that drowned 40 billion puppies in the river down south? No? Well, that sucks. Thanks for ruining my day, asshole. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't want to hear about all the bad shit that's going on in the world. I know it happens. Nothing I can really do is going to change it. And what good does knowing that some murderer has killed a bunch of people in some small town do to me? Apart from ruining my day and making me want to watch Requiem for a Dream again. Another part of the problem is that people just believe anything that's written down or presented by a pretty lady on television. Hey, you shouldn't play video games. They will turn you into a murderer. Wait, what? What evidence is there of that? Well, I read it in the newspaper. Oh, shut up. Ultimately, I guess it's just another form of entertainment, adding a glossy coat onto something that is completely bland 89% of the time. I guess the silver lining is that no one is forcing me to watch or read anything, and I do read news or listen to podcasts in junction to things I do find interesting. But when someone criticizes me, you, or anyone else for that matter, for not keeping up with the news, because it's so important, show them this video and tell them to f*** off. I used to be a news anchor once. Yeah, that's great. So when's the body going to be cleared up? I was San Diego's top-rated newsman in the male-dominated broadcasting of the 70s. But that all changed for me and my cronies when an ambitious woman was hired as the new anchor. That is the exact synopsis for Anchorman from IMDb. Oh, yeah. Well, looks like this body just isn't coming off. I guess you're going to have to find somewhere else to do... whatever you do. Great, more work for me. Jesus Christ. So those are my thoughts on the very broad subject that is the news. I'm particularly curious to see what I'm just going to stop doing. Words. I'm curious to see what everyone thinks about on this one. What do you think about on the? Uh, what do you think about the news? Tell me. Do you agree with me? I f***ed this up real bad again. Do you agree with me, or am I a complete idiot who should stop making videos? Tell me in the comments below. So as always, thanks for watching. All comments and ratings are appreciated. I'll see you next time. Bye. When I say I hate the news, what I primarily mean is the 6 o'clock show, or whatever time it is, where you have an eternal old-looking man paired with a woman presenter who gets replaced when the corporate executives decide that she's not attractive enough for television anymore. <coughs> oh, I write too long sentences to be able to talk. Properly, fuck!